everyone, welcome to number four. Let's go ahead and take a look. It says the distribution of flying times for a particular route is uniform, that's a big buzzword, over this interval. So I also can spot my variable, right, flying times, and it looks like the units are minutes, which is fine. So I'm just gonna put that my variable here is flying times. The units are minutes. And I have this buzzword that I'm with a uniform distribution. So I'm gonna make sure to follow those rules. So I know X is uniformly distributed. It looked like the min was 120 and the max was 140. And we're gonna, we're gonna work through this. So we're gonna find the mean and standard deviation of this variable. We're gonna calculate a probability and a percentile. All right, so if I want the mean and standard deviation, let's start with part A. The mean is always A plus B over two. All right, and so if we look at this, this would be 120 plus 140 over two. And when I crunch that number, I'm gonna get 130. The units would be minutes because the units of any statistic are the same as your variable. All right, so that rules out this option. That's not correct. Now, the standard deviation is the square root of b minus a squared over 12. All right, so if I want the standard deviation, we're gonna go 140 minus 120. I'm gonna square that number, divide it by 12, and let's get the standard deviation. When I crunch that, I'm gonna get 5.774, and again, the units are minutes. So that takes, oops, I think I shrunk that in. Let me expand this just a bit. That takes us to that answer. All right. And then it says, what is the probability that a plane will land between 122 and 124 minutes? Okay, so for me, I always like to draw a graph. I find that helpful. So let's go here and we'll put probability. And this is going to be, again, flying times. Units are minutes. And you don't have to make a graph. I just, I really, for me, I like to. So we go 120 to 140. Something like that. That base, if I think about my base right now, if I take 140 and minus 20, that is gonna be 20 minutes. So this height is gonna be one over 20. I'll keep that in mind. Now I wanna go between 122 and 124. And keep in mind, like 130 was right here in the middle, right? We just found the mean. Let me switch colors here. So let's go 122 to maybe like 124 would be somewhere in here. ish again this is just me approximating but i think i want this area so this area isn't too large right it's definitely less than 50 percent it's just a chunk maybe it's like 10 or 20 percent and just looking at the options here i can see that the first option this isn't even possible you can't have a probability of 6.2 it has to be a number between zero and one so that could get ruled out right away but if i want this probability and let me put that this was 122 and this was 124. So if I wanna go 122 to 124, oops, let me write that a little bit better, just so it's clear. Less than x, less than 124. Again, we're gonna use base times height because we're on the uniform distribution. My base of the shaded, the purple rectangle is uh, high minus low, and that height was one over 20. So this is two times one over 20, which is one tenth, or as a decimal is 0 0.10, 10%. And so that's my option, okay? And the next thing it wants is the 72nd percentile. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna draw another graph, and let's see if we can get the 72nd percentile here. So same graph, basically. But I want the 72nd percentile. So we'll go 120 to 140. Oops, that's not my best rectangle. And we said this was one over 20 and this was flying times. And the units were minutes. Okay, so I want the 72nd percentile. So there's some number here and I don't know what it is. Actually, let me draw it with a solid pen just so I'm consistent. There's some number, well, it's probably a little too much. All right, maybe here, something like that. I don't know. All right, where... This area from here on down is 72% of the area of my curve, or the area under my PDF, same way of saying it. All right, so I wanna figure out what gets me 72%. What is this X value here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use base times height. So we know base times height 
has to equal 72%. That's, that's our formula. So I know that the base times my height of 1 over 20 is 0.72. So I'm gonna either, you can think about it as dividing by one over 20. So if this helps, you can divide by 1 20th on both sides. But dividing by 1 20th is the equivalent of multiplying by that reciprocal or 20 over one. So for me, in my brain, I just think I'm gonna multiply both sides by 20. And let me color code this. So I'm gonna multiply this side by 20 and this side by 20, and these will cancel out. And that will leave me with just the base on the left hand side and 72% of 20 is 14.4 and then the units on this would be minutes. And I think a lot of folks would mistakenly circle this one. But keep in mind, your, your variable was uniformly distributed from 120 to 140. So flight times can't even be 14.4 minutes. It's not even in the range or in the spread of 120 to 140. It's that your base, I wanna reiterate this, your base, is 14.4. So this distance needs to be 14.4 minutes. So really, if I want to find that x value, and let me scoot this up, if I want that x value, that would be 120 plus 14.4. I need my starting point plus my base. And when I do that, that is 134.4 minutes, right? And that puts me right here at the 72nd percentile. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.